This is News 3 Now at 6. Thank you for joining us tonight. A teenage boy in Greene County is charged with killing his daughter just days after she was born. The district attorney charging 16-year-old Logan T. Kruckenberg Anderson as an adult facing first-degree intentional homicide and hiding a corpse charges. Our Jamie Perez shares more about what we found out through the criminal complaint. Jamie. Well, at first he told investigators that he paid a friend named Tyler $60 to take the baby to an adoption center in Madison, only to find out later that that never actually happened. And later he admitted to doing something much worse. Obviously, this is the worst uh, that it gets, a first-degree intentional uh, homicide. That's one reason a Greene County judge decided to hold 16-year-old Logan Kruckenberg Anderson on a million-dollar cash bond today. It's a charge the teenager faces just one week after his child's birth. The evidence in this case, I would say, is extremely strong. According to court documents. Kruckenberg Anderson told police he talked with the baby's mother and they decided they could not keep the child after she was born January 5th in a bathtub. Kruckenberg Anderson took off with the baby. Family reported the baby missing January 9th. Kruckenberg Anderson originally told the sheriff's deputy he gave the baby to a friend to drop off at an adoption center, but he couldn't provide police with the friend's last name, phone number, or address. The State Department of Justice and the FBI sat down with him on Sunday. That's when he admitted to taking the baby into the woods, covering it with snow, and shooting it twice in the head. The violent nature of the acts is another potential consideration. Crime scene investigators found that what he said was true. Judge, we have here a 16 year old who has made numerous very poor choices already, um, who is facing life in prison. Um, the evidence is extremely strong and I think there is extremely high likelihood uh, that he would flee. A defense attorney asked for a $500,000 cash bail, but the judge agreed with prosecutors, setting the seven-figure bond for the state's number one felony. His preliminary hearing is set for the 20th at 10.30 in the morning. If convicted, he could face life in prison. Me Perez reporting tonight. Jamie, thank you. Let's check your first warned forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Hi, Gary. Hi, Charlotte. It was a pretty nice day overall, getting some sunshine back, at least across most of our viewing area. Live view from the Edgewater Sky Cam at downtown Madison doesn't show any fog around the capital, but there is a little bit of light fog to our east. Notice visibility is down to about five miles in Juneau and Watertown. Uh, some light fog over eastern Wisconsin, up in central Wisconsin, and eventually we'll see patchy fog just about anywhere across southern Wisconsin. Current temperatures are in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Madison just below freezing at 31 degrees. Boscobel still at 33. Janesville's dropped to 28 degrees and by tomorrow morning look for those temperatures to drop into the middle 20s we'll see some patchy fog overnight into tomorrow morning otherwise it'll be variably cloudy tomorrow with a high temperature of around 36 degrees after the mild day tomorrow look for some rain some snow or even some light freezing rain on thursday changing to snow thursday night i'll tell you how much snow we can expect in just a few minutes Gary, thank you. Wisconsin health officials confirm more than 2,800 new cases today of COVID-19. That more than doubles yesterday's count. That's also above the seven-day rolling average of 2,827, and 47 more people have died. The Wisconsin Center in Milwaukee officially opened as a vaccine hub today for city workers that are a part of Phase 1A distribution of vaccines. A Milwaukee firefighter was one of the first in line today. That is the one thing that made me really proud to be here today because I know that this is a huge step. So regardless of whether I was the first person in line, 10th, 100th, I know that this is an important step, not just for us as a department, as a city, but globally. Officials expect to receive 800 doses of the Pfizer vaccine today. Eventually, they hope to administer 1,000 vaccines a day. The vaccination site is not open to the public, and freezers where the vaccines are stored will be monitored 24 hours a day. It could be weeks before Wisconsin sees government action on coronavirus relief, despite the state Senate passing a bill this afternoon. Amy rejoins us now live to explain the holdup. Good evening, Amy. Good evening, Charlotte. This bill, which was an amended version of the one that passed the assembly last week, passed the Senate today with only two lawmakers voting no, and the governor said he would sign it. It pulls back on some of the more divisive parts of the assembly bill, like the measures that put limits on local public health departments and school boards. The Senate majority leader told me yesterday the Senate would have gone further than what the assembly did, but even one of the chamber's most conservative members today said the goal was to pass something that the governor would sign. Since it's different than the 
assembly version. It has to go through that chamber before the governor, though. And the majority leader there said this bill falls too short. In a statement, we'll continue to advocate for the priorities of our constituents over the next few weeks as we move toward a response to the Senate's actions during our floor period later this month. The majority leader also tweeted today about what he thinks the governor will skip over tonight in the state of the state address, highlighting issues he's seen with the Department of Workforce Development and vaccine rollout. Evers is planning on dedicating the speech to COVID victims, and we're expecting that he's going to spend a lot of his time tonight on that. Um, you can watch that entire thing tonight here on Channel 3000, and we'll also bring you the highlights tonight at 10. Amy, thank you. The governor will dedicate his state of the state address to more than 5,000 Wisconsinites who have died from COVID so far. Again, you can watch the speech tonight at 7 o'clock and we will be streaming it on channel3000.com and channel3000 plus streaming apps. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is scheduled to give the Republican response after the governor's speech. Madison and Dane County will receive an estimated combined $16 million for eviction prevention. City and county leaders are working to rush a federal aid package for rental assistance before January ends. Madison Mayor Satya Rose Conway says 90% of the $16 million in aid will likely go directly to eviction relief, although she says the aid will only scratch the surface in addressing the need in the community. We know that our communities of color have been hardest hit by the pandemic and the unemployment crisis, and I am committed to making sure that this aid gets to the people who need it the most. City officials say they're anticipating even more funding to come once President-elect Biden takes office. The application process for receiving aid is set to begin the first week of February. The Madison Police Department is putting an emphasis on their employees' mental health this year. Gabriela Becerra explains why the department is forcing its employees to take a day off this year. Well, Madison Police Department is giving all of its employees, both sworn and civilian, an additional paid day off this year, but they have to use it by getting a mandatory wellness check. For one hour, employees have to have a face-to-face -face conversation with one of the therapists at Westside Psychotherapy. All conversations are kept confidential, and employees can talk about whatever they choose, although a wellness check usually identifies stressors and ways to relieve them. Well recognized in this field, the toll that this job can take on people that do it every day. And, you know, not only does that impact the officers and sort of their long-term life, but it can impact the community because it impacts how they do their jobs. It can impact how they deliver service, how they interact with people, what kind of decisions they make. Madison Police put aside $150,000 to pay for this program. And this program was initially supposed to start last year, but because of the pandemic, they had to put it off. But this year, they're making it a priority to have these mental health days. Gabby, thank you. Coming up next at 6, SSM Health opened its 10th vaccination site today. We will have more on additional vaccine clinics in the works and hear from a healthcare worker who received that shot today. Stay with us. Papa Murphy's, we make fresh pizza that you bake at home. Because home is where the fun is. Right now, get the herb chicken Mediterranean pizza for just $9. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. At iMart Express, it's just the right price. Two pairs of glasses start under 40 bucks. Using insurance? We accept over a thousand plans, and using your benefits is as easy as one, two, three. No insurance? No problem. Glasses to fit your budget. It's just the right price. Only at iMart Express. Extended through January 15th. Join Planet Fitness for no enrollment. $10 a month, no commitment. 2020 is over. Start 2021 with tons of ways to get moving in our clean and spacious clubs. And spread out while you work out with cardio distancing and our new crowd meter. Plus, use our app to get moving anywhere. Your fitness is essential, so kick things off with the year's best deal. Join for no enrollment, $10 a month, no commitment. Deal ends January 15th. Five Madison area locations. Sign up for $10 a month. Stop in today. The forecast calls for...
a messy commute. The Ford lineup helps keep you in command. Intelligent four-wheel drive monitors traction, and a terrain management system adapts to road conditions at the turn of a knob. So you're ready to take on the elements with confidence. Power through the storm in a new Ford Explorer. Now with 0% financing for 72 months, plus 4,250 bonus cash. See your Wisconsin dealer today. More than 163,000 Wisconsinites have been vaccinated so far from COVID-19. That's about 44% of the total vaccines that have shipped across the state. The Middleton Memorial VA Hospital in Madison has vaccinated 500 veterans so far. They're hoping that number will grow quickly over the next several weeks. They received their vaccine allocation from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs and are prioritizing people based on age. Following national guidelines, veterans 85 and older will go first, then veterans 75 and older. For any veterans who would like a vaccine, you are asked to wait for the hospital to call you to schedule an appointment. We know a lot of people have questions and are anxious to get the vaccine. We're uh, as excited as you are to provide it for you, but we need to do it in a, in a deliberate way. And uh, we'll be working hard to reach out to you as soon as we have vaccine available to, to serve you. As of today, 1,900 employees at the Veterans Hospital have been vaccinated. A new SSM Health COVID vaccination site is officially open in Sun Prairie. The additional site will help expand vaccine access for unaffiliated 1A healthcare workers like dentists, private practice providers, and school nurses. Today, a CNA and social worker for Bright Star in Beloit felt the drive to Sun Prairie to get her vaccine was well worth it. I'm, all set. I'm ready for it to be done. It's been tough watching people that I take care of and people that I know pass and going to the funerals that can't even comfort anyone. I'm ready to do my part and get it done. SSM officials now have 10 vaccination sites running and plan to open 10 more as the next priority group. Frontline essential workers and adults over the age of 75 become eligible. Still ahead at 6, News for Now investigates how Wisconsin-based companies with political spending interests, how they're responding to congressmen who voted to block certification of the 2020 presidential election. And after some sunshine today, a chance for some freezing rain and snow later in the week. Gary will have the details in your first one forecast. Gruber Law Office made it so much easier for me and my family just to say we can breathe again. If you've been injured, call Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. And I thank them truly from the bottom of my heart. So I can get the latest phones free with no hidden requirements? Yep, all season long. And do I have to get the most expensive plan? Nope, no plan restrictions. Okay, but we have to trade in our phones. Right? Right? Nope, keep your phones. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get the latest phones free, available all season long with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular, up free to fair. Dear Winter, it's been fun getting to know you. Sleep, blizzards, ice. I love that you don't hold back. We didn't take it personally when you tried to bury us under six feet of snow. It's cool. You do your thing, and we'll do ours. Stay chill. Toyota Trucks. Right now. You can get $500 customer cash on a new 2021 Toyota 4Runner. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. So, how's saving for the renovation going? All done. I will never understand how you do it. Easy. She saves with BMO Harris. We give you a cash reward for every month you save. So BMO will give me cash for saving money? You bet. Can the subject hold position two, please? How's this? That's odd. I make saving look good. 
when a bank helps you make real financial progress. That's the BMO effect. Get a $5 reward every month you save $200 or more in a new BMO Statement Savings account. We ask some of our young fans for their best one call, that's all. 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 You are watching News 3 Now at 6. A Wisconsin man who posted on Facebook that he was among those wanted for illegally entering the U.S. Capitol during last week's riot has been arrested in Eau Claire. Kevin Loftus is facing charges in federal court. The complaint shows pictures posted on social media of a man identified as Loftus holding an American flag and smiling inside the Capitol in the halls of Congress. He made an initial appearance in federal court today. Nationwide, a handful of major companies and business interests that spend heavily in politics are backing away from members of Congress who voted to overturn election results last week. News 3 Investigates' Naomi Coles looked at the major Wisconsin-based companies whose owners or PACs donated to the state's two congressmen who voted that way. We're at the beginning stages of a, of a reckoning. A trend that's grown out of January 6th, the day of riot and insurrection on Capitol Hill. Declaration that they're uh, explicitly not going to give you money because of this, you know, what you did on January 6th. That's a signal. Political spending groups affiliated with major companies and business interests like AT&T, Marriott, Blue Cross Blue Shield, American Express, Hallmark. They're pulling funding from members of Congress who voted to overturn election results last Wednesday. I object. Wisconsin's two freshman congressmen, Republicans Tom Tiffany and Scott Fitzgerald, voted to block certification. We reviewed filings from the FEC and the Center for Responsive Politics and reached out to the owners or political spending groups of five major Wisconsin headquarter companies who have national presences or spending interests. The founders or political spending arms of Uline, ABC Supply, Quick Trip, Ashley Furniture, and Northwestern Mutual all were top donors to one or both of these representatives. None responded to our questions of whether they planned to pull funding from these candidates in the future. As campaign finance expert Professor Ken Mayer explains, it's not so much a certain dollar amount that affects a politician when it's withdrawn. That $5,000 by itself is not going to make or break a candidate. It's the act itself. Large business interests publicly pulling back that becomes more significant as a, as a sign that a, a key constituency or group of constituencies are, are sort of backing away from you. Nationwide, the trend among corporations is growing, but it remains to be seen if the large private companies or the wealthy individuals behind them will follow suit. And that's a signal that, that other uh, donors and supporters are, are likely to take into account. Richard and Elizabeth Uline and Diane Hendricks behind ABC Supply and Beloit, these aren't just big Wisconsin spenders. These are top national political spenders across the country. Online, you can find a complete list of businesses who supported both of these congressmen who later went on to block that certification vote, also how much they spent. For News 3 Investigates, I'm Naomi Coles. A new report from the Wisconsin Policy Forum shows the state and local tax burden dropped below the national average. That report also showed that state and local taxes as a share of income was 10.2% last year. That's the lowest it's been since at least 1970. Overall taxes increased by about 2% in the past fiscal year that ended June 30th, but the total personal income went up 3% in calendar year 2019. That's the most recent data available. Packers playoffs tickets went on sale today for season ticket holders who opted in. Information is being sent via email. The Packers are also doing giveaways every day this week to get you pumped up for Saturday's playoff game at Lambeau. Today, fans can win Packers t-shirts through the handle at Pack Everywhere on Twitter. The Packers play the Rams for the NFC Divisional Round game at 335 Saturday afternoon on Fox. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti now with your first warm forecast. Gary. Eric, we managed to melt a little bit of the snow today because temperatures are up in the mid to even upper 30s over southwestern Wisconsin. But you can still see we have pretty widespread snow cover through much of the Midwest. High temperatures today, 35 in Madison, uh, 32 in Dubuque, Iowa, but La Crosse at 37. Basketball was at 39, Milwaukee 34. So at least for a few hours, those temperatures were above freezing. That has resulted in some fog as we melt a little bit of the snow, add some moisture to the air. And now as temperatures start to cool off, that moisture starts to condense into 
into fog. So we're seeing visibility down to two and a half miles in Marshfield. Uh, parts of eastern Wisconsin, like over toward Watertown and Juneau, reporting visibilities around five miles. Fog not very thick, but we will see patchy fog overnight into tomorrow morning, uh, according to the three things you need to know. But beyond that, after a quiet day tomorrow, we'll see precipitation develop on Thursday. Now it'll start out as light mixed precipitation, some light rain, some light snow, maybe even a little bit of light freezing rain. That will change over to snow for Thursday evening into Thursday night, and there could be some minor accumulations. That'll be followed by seasonably cold weather this weekend. High temperatures mid to upper 20s and almost daily chances for snow flurries. On future track, notice the clouds thickening up tonight, and again, we'll see some patchy areas of fog that will continue into tomorrow. Future track tries to develop a couple of light rain showers, maybe not out of the question, but right now I don't have them in the forecast. The better chances for precipitation are going to arrive Thursday morning into Thursday afternoon. Again, a mix of rain, some light freezing rain, light snow, changing over to primarily light snow as colder air starts to wrap around behind a cold front that'll sweep through during the afternoon hours on Thursday. And then at the back side of the storm, notice the broad circulation here with precipitation all the way around back into the uh, western portion of Minnesota. Some of those snow showers and flurries will move eastward on Friday and possibly even linger into Saturday. Snowfall amounts right now expected to be in the one to three inch range, maybe two or three inches north of the Dells, an inch, maybe two inches north of Madison, probably an inch or less south of Madison. And as far as freezing rain potential, not looking at widespread icing, just a little bit of light freezing rain. But again, depending on the timing, that could make roads slick. So we'll keep an eye on that. Weather track across the Pacific Ocean shows these storm systems lined up one right after another as we're in a typical stormy January pattern. But these storms, as they move toward the United States, have been weakening a little bit. For the most part, they're just going to change the overall jet stream pattern and start to allow the milder Pacific air that we've been seeing over the last couple of days to be pushed down to the south. And then the colder Canadian air starts dropping in. And that's going to be with us pretty much through the weekend and into the early part of next week. As we look at our forecast for tomorrow, look for a high temperature of 36 degrees. Get a little patchy morning fog, otherwise variably cloudy skies. 7 to 10 day forecast. That mix of precipitation Thursday, changing the lights no Thursday night with some minor accumulations. Here's steady temps on Friday. And then we'll see some flurry chances off and on through the weekend, through the Martin Luther King holiday and into the first part of next week. And coming up in sports, the Badgers and Wolverines already underway in Ann Arbor. What Micah Potter says Wisconsin has to do to leave with a big road win. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. What does it mean to fight for what's right? And who decides what's right? Is it right for an insurance adjuster to try to get you to settle for less than you deserve? Is it right to let victims struggle to pay their medical bills? To us, it means helping accident victims get their lives back to normal again. It means doing what's right for you. Habish, Habish and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Love lower than low prices? Then get more ways to save at Pick and Save, where you can find personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. All for prices that are lower than low. On food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Did you know that 178 million Americans are missing at least one tooth? It's, it's true. true. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we only focus on tooth replacement solutions. Whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or dental implants, we have an experienced dentist who can create a new smile just for you. At a price that's affordable. Because at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we want you to go, go ahead, ahead and, and smile. smile. The forecast calls for a messy commute. The Ford lineup helps keep you in command. Intelligent four-wheel drive monitors traction, and a terrain management system adapts to road conditions at the turn of a knob. So you're ready to take on the elements with confidence.
Power through the storm in a new Ford Explorer. Now with 0% financing for 72 months, plus 4,250 bonus cash. See your Wisconsin dealer today. Hey folks, with Madison schools staying virtual, that means sports are also on hold. Wednesday morning, we'll share ways student athletes can stay sharp. Join us from 4.30 to 7 for News 3 Now this morning. To say that Wisconsin's game against Michigan is big might be an understatement with both teams ranked in the top 10. Now on the road, the Badgers have been a little up and down. At Marquette, they didn't play well, but at Michigan State, they did. And tonight at Michigan, they'll need to be even better because the Wolverines are atop the Big Ten standings for a reason, and they're coming off back-to-back -back blowout wins against ranked teams. Being assertive with our decisions um, and making sure we're playing confident and, and ready to go because Michigan's a great team. Um, they haven't lost yet. We're looking forward to giving them that first one. But, um, but yeah, you got to be ready for anything. And bringing your own energy and, and having a senior group or veteran group like we have uh, it makes, it, makes it easier. Badgers and Wolverines tipped off a little less than 20 minutes ago over on ESPN. Right now, Wisconsin down three. We'll have highlights of that game at 10 o'clock. For the third time this season, Matt LaFleur will go against the team that coaches, that is Buddy coaches. He took down Kyle Shanahan with the 49ers with ease and as well as Mike Vrabel and the Titans. Now it's on to Sean McVay and the Rams. The two spent, coaching, spent time coaching together in Washington for, and for a little over a year in L.A. and became really good friends, like the kind that talk to each other once or twice a week friends. But this week, they've hit the pause button on those conversations. I love him like a brother. We got pretty tight in our time in, in Washington. Um, you know, he lived right across the street from me uh, there, and we'd, he'd come over quite a bit. And my wife and I would we'd uh, have dinner together quite a bit. So, no, he's, he's a great friend of mine, but uh, the gloves will be off on Saturday. Aaron Rodgers is no stranger to Jeopardy. The Packers QB says he watches the show just about every day, and he's been a contestant. Back in 2015, he was the winner of Celebrity Jeopardy, and sometime this offseason, he'll be back on the show, but in a different role. Rodgers is set to guest host an episode. The college football season wrapped up last night with Alabama winning yet another national championship, but it's never too early to start looking towards next season, hence ESPN's way too early top 25 for the 2021 season. Badgers come in at 17. They're one of five Big Ten teams ranked. Eric, it feels like football season kind of never ends with it, spring it, practice coming up. It doesn't, especially this weird calendar yeah. event going ahead. <laughs> Gary Canalti joining us now. Final check of the forecast. A little bit of fog out there, especially east of Madison. We're seeing visibilities down to about five miles in Juneau and Watertown. Otherwise, expect patchy fog overnight and tomorrow morning. All right, Gary, thanks. And thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Enjoy your evening and we'll see you back here at 10.